Behind us is the Ford Fiesta Active b and It's one of those vehicles that's perfect for those who like to go out exploring, look at the cladding. It's also got a low terrain mode, which is perfect in these winter months. The model we have here is just over £23,000. But the range does start at just over 18000 there is a range of engines and gearboxes on offer, ranging from 85 PS to 140 PS. And you can get a diesel or a petrol. There is also a manual and an automatic available. I'm going to be taking a look at the interior, the practicality. I'll be looking at the exterior, the styling. We'll then both be driving it, and then we'll bring you our verdict on whether or not this is the car for you. If you like car reviews, car shows, and anything automotive, well, why not subscribe to the Planet Auto YouTube channel? Thank you. The first thing you'll notice about the Fiesta Active is this. It's like a front diffuser, but it's got that kind of active look and it gives you a utilitarian style. You've also got a very sporty grille. It looks really cool in black and it's got points on it as well, so it just looks awesome. The Active is also very tech loaded. We've got the LED headlamps. That's a 600 pound option, but it's well worth the money. They're automatic headlamps. You've also got a take on the angel eyes as well, which look pretty cool. And you've got progressive indicators. Ford have thought of your safety too. You've got collision detection, active cruise control, and there is an optional extra of blind spot detection. Coming to the side of the vehicle, you immediately see the raised ride height. It's also got cladding around it, but that gives it that active look. It's for those who want to explore. As you can see, we've been exploring because we've already caked it in mud. But it is autumn, so what do you expect? We've also got side skirts, and it, it kind of blends very well with the cladding, and also that sporty black roof. You've got 17-inch machine-finished alloys, and if you've noticed, it's quite a low profile. That's one thing I didn't expect to see on an active model. One clever thing on this car, the door protectors. These are little plastic things that pop out, and when you open your door, if you happen to clip next door's car, then this will protect your paint and their paint. The car also comes with keyless entry and electrically operated and heated wing mirrors. You're reminded it's the active model. You've got black roof rails and also privacy glass. When it comes to the rear of the car, the active styling continues with this rear cladding. Gives it a sporty yet off-roady style look. You've also got these sculpted rear lenses, parking sensors, reversing camera, high-level brake light housed in the rear spoiler and a beasting aerial. Stepping into the Fiesta Active, you're met with some really funky styling with the accents on the seats, the yellow accents on the dash, this gloss plastic that surrounds the large infotainment screen, the soft touch materials on the dash. It really is a nice place to be. Everything's very well screwed together. There are some harder plastics lower down, but that makes it very robust. When it comes to functionality, you have all around electric windows, electrically operated heated door mirrors, automatic lights. Our model does have the LED headlamps, this nice lever wrapped steering wheel with your cruise, well, adaptive cruise control, media controls. You even have some little paddles on the back of the steering wheel. You have the advanced fuel computer that shows things like your media and your tire pressures, things like that. The infotainment system has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, DAB Radio, Bluetooth. It is a really nice system to use, it's very intuitive. It does also have sat-nav. Below that you have your heater and air conditioning controls, as well as your heated seats and heated steering wheel. A USB port, 12 volt socket, your terrain modes, automatic transmission with a sport mode. And in this central storage area, there is another USB port. You do also have all around parking sensors and a reversing camera. When it comes to practicality, I have lots of headroom and lots of legroom. All of the adjustment in the seat is done manually. These seats do feel very durable, but it doesn't compromise on comfort. The steering wheel has height and reach adjustment. And when it comes to storage, you have decent sized door bins that can fit a bottle of water, a little storage area here for some change, two more cup holders in the center, this central storage area where you can put things like your keys and a packet of crisps. There is also a decent sized glove box. You've even got a little storage area up here for your sunglasses. 
Stepping into the back of the car is nice and easy thanks to the raised ride height. Once you're back here, I'm six foot tall and I've got an ample amount of headroom considering the sloping roof line. This seat's set up for Ben, he's six foot three, and I've got an ample amount of leg room. Okay, you're not going to want to be carrying three six foot adults. Two six foot adults is not going to be a problem. Three children, not a problem. You do have isofix points on both these outer seats. You have rear electric windows, a small door pocket, the Bang & Offerson sound system, a little storage tray in the middle here, and this central reading light. It would have been nice to see some of the funky yellow styling that's in the front on these rear door cards, and also some padding where you rest your arm. You do also have side airbags. Overall, it's very comfortable. One thing to note, the privacy glass does make it a touch dark back here. Coming around to the boot of the car, you can unlock the boot using the key. Once the boot is open, you have 292 litres of space. The seats are split folding, and once they're folded down, space increases to 1,093 litres. There is a bit of a load lip, but you can opt for a false floor. That will also alleviate the lip between the rear seats and the boot floor. You do have your inflation kit and your Bang & Offelson subwoofer back here as well. There is also your child seat tethers and some little storage points at each side of the boot. So what's the Ford Fiesta Active B&O like to drive? Well, the model we have here is the 100 PS 1 litre three cylinder turbocharged EcoBoost engine. It's so smooth, it's so refined, yeah. it's so quiet in here. Yeah, and it's still got the pull as well. Now, what makes this car different is we also have the power shift automatic gearbox as well. Yeah, it's very good, isn't it? That coupled to that 100 PS EcoBoost engine is really, really well, it performs very well, doesn't it? And you don't have to just get the 100 PS, you can start at, can what go, is it? Well, you can start at 85 and go all the way up to 140. Yeah. It's remarkable how smooth this gearbox is. I can't believe it, because it's such a small engine, You re I thought that it would really struggle, but the ratios are very good and it cycles through the gears seamlessly. And it's got a sport mode, and that's the thing. You would expect a gearbox like this to be constantly trying to change gear, wouldn't you? Yeah. And it doesn't. I think the, o the only time you do notice it is if there is a very steep hill. Yes. Then, of course, because it is only a one litre engine, you do notice the change down. And that's usually when you're under load and you've got a car full. Yeah. But as a whole, I, I can't believe it. It's so smooth, it's yeah. so refined. And because this is a Fiesta, the ride is very good, the handling's very good, yep. there's no body roll, the steering's direct. It's one of the best handling little cars out there. But it has been for years. And oh, you yeah. know, it, it's, it's, it's no surprise that it holds that title. Well, the raised ride height hasn't compromised that at all to me. It's like the Eco, um, Eco. Echo Sport. Yes. I can't, I'm always going to confuse Eco Boost and Echo Sport. It's like the Echo Sport, that had a raised ride height, but there was no body roll to speak of, was there? It was very good, and this is similar, but it's still, you know, it's, it's a touch lower than the um, yes. Echo Sport. But it still keeps all the handling characteristics of the standard Fiesta. And it's also got that low um, traction mode as well. Yes, for when you're tackling muddy tracks. And... The six-speed transmission is, well, it's very smooth, but you do also have the option of using the paddles if you want some more spirited driving. Well, that gives you a nice sporty feel, doesn't it? Well, you do also have a sport mode. We were excelling pretty hard then. That's it. <laughs> it. You really don't notice it because it's so quiet and that engine tone is so quiet and it's so well insulated. You don't notice it gathering the speed. Mm, no, you don't. I, I honestly don't know how they've done it. That's not even sport either. I mean, look at it now. Yeah. You're doing a bit of spirited driving and it feels like it's on rails. And that's not even in sport mode either. Well, Put it in sport and let's see the difference. Yeah. Holds gears longer. Very good. Okay. Back <laughs> I'm scaring you. I, yeah, because I know how much this is. It's, it doesn't feel like your Fiesta because it's higher. Yeah, it's 
but it still feels just oh it's planted, planted. It's so capable yeah I the steering so direct you have a really good idea of where the car's going brakes are very good too yes you do have drums on the back though that's well that's what you expect with this it's not a very big car is it and it stops perfectly well with them it was the same with the Echo Sport well yes and my Fiesta as well it's, yeah it, it's perfectly capable of stopping the steering's also nice and light when you're carrying out manoeuvres, you have a good view out of the vehicle. You've got parking sensors and a reversing camera. And there's also, you know, there's no blind spots, it's, it's a lovely car. Mm. You can also get blind spot detection as well. The dials are nice and clear, all the switch gear has a nice feel to it as well. You have heated seats, the infotainment system's really nice, and we do have full LED headlamps. That is a £600 option, but it's well worth the money. Oh, absolutely. I do like the yellow accents in here as well, but as you know, I like funky cars. I like the seats, the interior, the stitching, and the colour of yellow, and it, it really does lift it. You've also got um, roadside recognition and other... Well, you can get the vehicle settings. Um, when you've got the adaptive cruise control, you can see the lane keeper system. The fuel computer also has the favourite system. It's a very, very nice system. You can get a lot of information out of the fuel computer on this car. You do also have start, stop and hill hold assist. Just things that make it a bit easier to drive. The lever wrap steering wheel, the engine start, stop button and that B&O sound system make it a really premium experience. And the sound system does sound top notch, doesn't it? The it, bass, the treble, the way that it puts the music across. I've, I've found that any song that I've thrown at it, it's handled it perfectly well. It, Overall, the Fiesta Active offers a very versatile, yet sporty driving experience. It does, and it enhances it, doesn't it, with things like low traction mode, yeah. um, driver assistance pack, that kind of thing. You, you, I mean, you can option this car up as much or as little as you want. Well, that's it, and also, if the Active model isn't for you, then there is ST-Line, Titanium... Yes, ZTEC. Just to name a few. It's very practical, it's very comfortable, and as we mentioned, it's very robust. And at 45 mpg, respectable economy too. Yeah. The Fiesta Active is sporty, active, engaging to drive. Funky and practical. What's our verdict of the Ford Fiesta Active b &O? Well, it's funky, it's sporty, looks the part with the cladding and also that raised ride height. And it's got low traction mode as well, so that will help you in the winter months and heading into things like campsites. It's also economical. On my long haul drive, I got 45 mpg. That one litre automatic 100 PS engine is also very punchy as well. But you don't need to choose that engine. You can get a range of engines, including petrols and diesels and a range of gearboxes too. This model is just over £23,000, but the range does start at just over £18,000. And one thing to note is, it's NCAP 5 too. It's got lots of safety tech as well. If you're in the market for a compact crossover with funky styling and also some sporty looks... It's certainly one to look at, isn't it? Yes, definitely. For more great impartial car reviews, please subscribe to Planet Auto. If you have any questions about the Ford Fiesta Active BNO, then put it in the comments section below. Thank you.